What's up guys and today I will finally be covering the single player challenges live stream between Dan and Wes. If you guys could like the video and subscribe to the channel that would be amazing. It took me a long time to edit out that intro so I hope you guys liked it. No seriously I spent like 5 hours making that. But anyway let's get down to business. Wes and Dan start the stream by introducing us to the broken down challenge. It's the first out of 10 and the description reads on their way to a wild party a few of the boys are experiencing car troubles in the middle of the woods. Make sure they don't make it out alive. There are 5 objectives and 1 hidden objective for each challenge. It's your job to complete the objectives and figure out the hidden one. You also have the 3 skull objectives to complete for each challenge which is the no survivor skull, the xp score skull, and the undetected skull. The 5 known objectives are called hoodwinked, gotta go, those things will kill you, but I just fixed it, and helpful mechanic. I'll let you guys take a look at the objectives, but let's get into the gameplay. Here we have our very first look at part 5 Jason and his new green overalls. I gotta say, I really didn't see a problem with his blue overalls, but I think I like the green ones just as much. I know that they changed the colors so they could be more accurate to the movies, but you still have the option to change them back to the blue if you like. You might have missed my video where I talked about the new grab animation and how they made him more of a lunge. You'll also notice that an audio cue plays whenever you grab a counselor. It's a little piece of music that plays and actually adds a bit of scare to the game here take a look it makes some colors pop better it makes some of the textures look a little cleaner uh, so we did get that uh, oh that was dope so we also we also added in um a little stinger a sound effect that we had harry manfredini make for us so whenever you do grab someone successfully it does the you know very much a, a friday the 13th thing um that we whoa that was dope you actually can't turn anymore when you do the grabs, so you have to make sure you don't miss. Dan and Wes play this single challenge for a while, then they move on to the power struggle challenge. For this challenge, it says strange things are happening at the Higgins Haven Lodge. Screams, power shutting down, and a mysterious smell of something burning. The objectives for this challenge are called watch your step, walking tall, seared to perfection, AJ al dente, and shocking revelations. The challenge starts off with some dialogue between BJ and Mitch. Here, take a look. Nah, man, you, you're all over. Change. Whoa! Did you, you, you just drive. hear that? <laughs> Sounded like screaming. Probably someone getting bonked upstairs, man. How come you don't get loud when we get it on? Well, you're just gonna have to keep trying, babe. Burr. No! Holy shit! What's going on? What are you doing? Just testing it out, honey. Well, cut it out. You're harsh in my hide, babe. Be a doll and go check the views, please. The fucking electrician here. Don't be scared, man. You can see that Part 7 Jason has the pickaxe instead of the machete, which is a reminder of the weapon selection coming in the next update. Now we're taking a look at one of Jason's environmental kills in this challenge. Wow, that was shocking. So we finally got our first electrocution kill in the game, and I was really hoping for one. Now obviously that death was inspired by Chuck's death from part 3, which I think everybody knew. Now it's Beijay's turn. This kill is a lot more cinematic here in single player than it is in multiplayer. Here, take a look. Like there's still things that we know needs to get in here, uh, but the whole point of this was to get us towards dedicated, right? Like that's written on the board of everyone's office everywhere is you know dedicated with a thousand exclamation points we've got to get to that point so that um people who the stare that jason gives at the end of the kill is just haunting after you kill both bj and mitch you get a cinematic of chad and jenny walking towards the cabin if you choose to kill jenny you will get one of the most brutal kills i've ever seen in a video game here take a look oh, i don't think you're rushing it oh, 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 oh. For you, Ronnie. That's my hang out, Jenny. I would really love for the devs to put this kill in multiplayer. It would be amazing. 
A slow death by hanging while someone is watching you die is just terrifying. This is the last thing I'm going to cover for this video. They show a couple of images of the counselors in the menu before and after the engine upgrade change. Here we have Beijay, Chad, Fox, and Shelly. The lighting does look more improved and it makes you appreciate all the details in the face. I am really hyped for this update and I'd like to say thank you for everyone who's watching. I rarely upload videos this long, but since I was late to covering this, I figured I should go all out. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Baby, your love is my medicine. Baby, your love